So the way you make your own keyboard shortcut in DaVinci Resolve is you go to DaVinci Resolve, Keyboard Customization, and you want to make sure Show All is selected. And I'm going to go ahead and search Label, and I know under Nodes, Label Selected Node. I like to make this the Tab button, and I'm going to hit Save, and DaVinci Resolve. And I'll just save this as my name as the preset, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, say I'm going to do Alt S, I make a new serial node, and now I can hit Tab and I can label this Skin Correction or whatever it is I might do. That's really useful because then I can just hit a button and label whatever that node is going to be. So, very useful setting in Resolve, and that'll allow you to make keyboard shortcuts for pretty much anything you might want. So that's a very useful feature. And next I'm gonna just take you through some of the built-in keyboard shortcuts that I like the most in DaVinci Resolve. One keyboard shortcut I like a lot is called Zoom to Fit. I'll kind of demonstrate that for you. So say I'm color grading something, I really wanna zoom in on the details on something and pop it right back to default. I can do Shift S and that zooms to fit. So that's, that's really good, just lets me move things around to get it right back to default and always make sure I have the default sizing on the header there. So of course we know the general space bar to hit play and the stop things, but there's some other keys on the keyboard you can use as well. You can hit the L key to play forward. You can hit the J key to play backwards. If you hit them multiple times, it'll speed things up for both forward and reverse. And there's the K key in the middle here. If you hold that down while hitting the L key, it'll play frame by frame forward, or the K and the J key backwards, it'll play frame by frame in reverse as well. So that gives you just like some little more options beyond like scrubbing with your mouse. You can just have your keyboard and be able to watch playback with some different options available to you. So another keyboard shortcut that I think is pretty useful, this is more of like an editing thing, but say I was going through this timeline and I was playing things back and I wanted to split a clip if I'm playing it back and I'm like, okay, that's the moment, you can do control B, and that's basically gonna split the clip at the playhead and use the blade tool to cut wherever you're at. Sometimes this is useful if I wanna split up a clip into two different parts, more of an editing thing, but it's still much better than, you know, clicking the blade tool, going to the playhead, making sure it's lined up correctly. You can just control B. Another useful keyboard shortcut is, say I'm going through the timeline and I know it's like, Every shot I want to use to the right of this, I want to have it selected. That's going to be Y, and it's going to select this clip and everything to the right of the playhead. And I could do Control Y as opposed to that and select everything to the left. So this can be good for doing broad selections for lots of clips. Rather than clicking and dragging everything, I could just hit these key combinations to select the clips that I'm looking for. Another keyboard shortcut I like a lot is M for marker. And Let's look at this shot here. So I can hit M and that'll create a marker and I can hit M again and that'll pull up the notes here. So I could label this close up of tools and I could leave a note, needs additional work. And sometimes I like to put red for a marker to kind of remind myself like, oh, that there's a problem with this clip or it needs a little more work. I'll mark it and come back to it later rather than just spending all of my time on this if I gotta move on quickly. And next to the keyboard on that is N, and that's gonna turn on snapping or not. So if you want the, the playhead to automatically snap the things, uh, N is good for that, but you can toggle that off. Another tip that I really like a lot, and I didn't learn until a couple of years into being a colorist, big time saver here is, say this is the color grade I want, I've got it exactly dialed in to where I want it, and I wanna paste that over to the next shot. I can click on the thumbnail here, and the thumbnail for that previous shot, if I hover over that and hit the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel and just clicking that wheel down, it copies over that grade to this following clip. Super useful, a lot faster than hitting copy and paste every single time or some of the other ways you transfer grades over from one shot to another.